Are you 30 and feeling like you're behind in life? Make sure to watch this video if you're going through this type of burnout. <sighs> Let me adjust this a little bit. What's going on? It's your boy, Kevin Yee. So if you're tuning into this, my name is Kevin Yee. I actually left pharmacy about two or three years ago. I currently do high ticket sales and kind of went on my own way. Recently, I actually took a YOLO solo trip to New York. Actually, I lied. We went. I went with a few of my friends. Can we go to the anal plastics? That does look like anal plastics. Are you gonna eat that? What? <laughs> you gonna eat that? Thanks. Are you gonna eat these? <laughs> Thanks, Wendy. <laughs> But at the moment I'm by myself and you might be asking why are you in New York and after going through extreme burnout I decided to take a trip out to New York and just figure out my life recently I've been having really bad insomnia extreme muscle pain or tightness and honestly I was showing signs of clinical depression where I was just sleeping all the time and I just didn't have the energy to do things anymore I couldn't stop thinking about what am I doing with my life at 30s and when I think about where the burnout began you know from a young age where a lot of us are taught to get a stable career save for retirement you know all the conventional things and if you're asian you probably relate to this a lot because this is very common in asian culture where you go for the stable things in life and for a very good reason i mean i'm not going to dive into all the reasons but just the main recap a lot of our parents didn't have everything in the world so they wanted what was stable what was best for us because a lot of them were growing up during wars or a lot of them were escaping life and death situations but being in America, we're, it's a lot more different, right? For me, I decided to pursue a career in pharmacy, but what I quickly realized too, and maybe you guys can really relate to this, is that these were the things that people wanted for me, not the other way around, meaning I didn't want these things, right? Uh, and so I remember doing pharmacy, there were aspects I really loved. I loved helping people, science, interacting with people. But like any industry, once you dive into it, you see the real side behind it. There's a difference between the reality and expectations of what they show you in pharmacy school. I actually shot a video about why I don't do pharmacy. So if you're considering something like pharmacy, you can watch it in one of the cards up here. Again, these were things that started tearing away at my soul. And I thought, I was like, man, why am I doing this? Why am I here? What is the purpose behind all this? Because because if it's to retire at 65, I'd rather just blow my brains out real talk, you know? I, that's when I started diving into digital marketing at the time, right? Even though I kind of found my own way through high ticket sales and did the digital marketing space, I haven't felt this loss in a really long time. Being in the hustle, hustle, hustle mode or the refugee hustle mode for such a long time now or for the last few years, it hasn't been helping my mental health right don't get me wrong i'm very grateful for the journey i've been on for the last two or three years and i don't plan to ever go back to pharmacy but i'm looking for the next step right and even though i have a lot more control like for example it's a tuesday afternoon i'm in new york shooting this video which is really freaking crazy i had a crazy weekend with my friends just going out and just eating really nice food and just enjoying company, I started thinking a lot. And one of the thoughts that hit me was like, man, these people I'm hanging out with in the next one or two years, they're going to have families, their priorities are going to change. And so what's next for my life? And I started asking myself, like, what am I trying to do? Why do I feel so, I guess, uneasy or uncertain about my future? And the truth is, like I mentioned, for the last two weeks, I just really did not want to get out of bed. You know, I had a lot of major things happen in my life. Like I lost one of my major clients because they their business pretty much went under. And I was I've also been seeing a therapist and stuff, and she was saying that I was showing uh, signs of uh, potential clinical depression. And I was like, you know. I was just starting to lose that edge and that lose not the motivation, I guess a little bit of the motivation, but I just didn't know why I would really want to get out of bed to begin with, right? And so that's very unlike me. And so I knew I needed some sort of change and that's why I came to New York. I need to physically change, get myself away from everything because taking more time off wasn't helping. Prior to this, I was seeing acupuncturists, I was seeing, seeing a therapist, massage therapist, meditating, but 
really nothing helped and what i realized when i came to new york was something very interesting and this is probably if there's one snippet of this video this is the one thing that you should take away is like what i realized on this trip was this is the quickest way to avoid burnout altogether right i've just been living that's what i've been doing the last few days and i i i totally forgot like you know it was so crazy i was actually on the bed with my friend and we're 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 old school like high high school uh no old school farm we met in pharmacy school uh she's one of my really closest friends and uh we're just resting before we're gonna walk around the new york area and we were watching the football game and i was like this is crazy i haven't even sat down and just take it like watch tv in the longest time you know and i'm not saying i, I really want to make a habit but i haven't it just brought back memories of like when was the last time that you just chilled like just took the time to give back to yourself when was the last time you actually started living and just like doing stuff just for fuck's sake right and not having like a business like type of goal or metric it really screws up your mind over time as well and i've definitely noticed i've become more jaded and more a little bit more cynical uh, definitely in the business world and i guess recently i just been thinking and this might sound a little depressing but the feeling I've been coming with this feeling of nothing matters in this life. We're all going to die someday, right? But although you can take it a very dark road, but at the same time, what I realize is that nothing matters like this, this money that you have, this, the things that you necessarily do um, really matters. The things, the tangible things that you have, right? But what really matters is you being happy within the moment spending time with the people that you care about having memorable moments doing cool shit and it really shifted my frame being out here in new york and especially um with that mindset and so what i guess i'm trying to say is like if you're feeling lost feeling burnt out there's no answer that anyone can have for you uh as well it can't be broken down into like a three point video like like this but what I'm saying is if you're 30 and feeling lost behind in your life, take some time, get away. Just, it doesn't have to be far away or anything like that. You can even just explore your own city and just get a really nice hotel room like I did here. And going back home, I just feel so refreshed. And I, I literally yesterday, I was so excited that I shot my whole one uh, full course in just like three hours too, which was really crazy and that's a break that we all need and i think there's a problem with something like hustle culture when we're running through the same routines over and over and over again and we never take the time to break it and just take a step back then that's when we go through we we start feeling behind and stuff this trip was all inspired by i was like i'm thinking about going to new york and my og friends from high school and college they're like hey we'll join you right even my pharmacy friends out here they're like come meet us up and something that's coming to mind as well there's no sense of feeling behind if you're only competing against yourself meaning if you're focused on bettering your life bettering your position creating things that support your lifestyle there's no such thing as being behind because every single day you're laying a brick at a time and uh, sometimes it's just so easy to compare yourself to others so when i look at my friends now it's just like you know i just appreciate these times that i have with them because they're so precious everything is so limited in this world right yeah but probably by next year they might have kids which is totally cool but life goes on as well and one day i will i'll have my own kids too um probably at 36 but you know who knows these are just my thoughts i would love to kind of hear how you guys are feeling if you guys are 30 and feeling this way if you guys are 20 feeling this way if you guys are 60 freaking years old tell me if you guys feel this way as well if you made it this far uh love for you to subscribe to this channel if you want more life topics like this uh let me know and i'll shoot some more but uh, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And um, I'm going to keep the Refugee Hustle journey going. If you want to follow me on Refugee Hustle, where I send more personalized 
emails to you guys make sure to uh hit the card as well you can go refugeehustle.com slash join and uh watch a few other of my videos talking about some of these topics as well all right that's pretty much it guys i will talk to you guys later and have a great day and i'll see you guys next time take care bye